Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Wire Dog Stack back with another video for you guys. Before we get into everything, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below on your thoughts and opinions on the video. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. Another course by TCM Security. Python 101 for hackers. Now, the reason why I had enrolled into this course was that I wanted to improve my skills, knowledge, hands-on keyboard experience when it came to scripting. And Python happens to be a script programming language. And everyone says it's pretty easy to learn. I do have minor prior experience when dealing with Python. Like I said, I'm not dealing with Python on a daily basis. I'm not you know, creating Python scripts on a daily basis or anything like that. But Python can be very helpful in my career, whether that be on the offensive side of things, creating scripts to do some kind of enumeration or some kind of scanning, port scanning, stuff like that, or the defensive side of things to run automated tasks that I don't want to do manually all the time. So I decided to sign up for this course to improve my skills and experience with Python, as I stated before. And when I did take this course or enroll in this course, I think they were doing another discount deal. It may have been free, I believe. So I decided to say, hey, you know, this course looks awesome from looking at the course syllabus and the information that's being taught in this course. And I need to improve my scripting skills anyway. So I decided to enroll in this course. So the course overview, Python 101 for Hackers course teaches an introduction Two Python programming concepts with a focus on techniques, modules, and examples, which are useful for a hacker. No prior Python programming knowledge is required to be successful in this introductionary course. Right. Um, now, that is definitely true. You don't need prior experience dealing with Python, but it does help. Like, let's say you've taken some uh, courses about Python on uh, MingusCodeAcademy.com. You know, that could assist you in this because you already recognize some of the commands and format of these Python scripts and stuff that's being taught in this course. Uh, let's see. Yeah, requirements definitely for any type of course you want to take, patience and willingness to learn are like two key things that you need in order to succeed in these courses. What will I learn? Goes over everything you'll learn. Difference between Python 2 and Python 3. Python 2 is like no longer supported. Python 3 is what's being taught in this class. You'll go through and set up a lab environment, including a Kali Linux distribution, a virtual box. I mean, going through all the fundamental knowledge and concepts of programming. You're going through different variables, you know, data type, string stuff, Boolean operators, tuples, lists. And as you go through the course, he does show you examples to follow. And after you do create those you know, test scripts or whatever, you get to test them out against a test environment. Now, I will say that you will probably need a test box to launch these scripts against. You know, you don't want to just launch these against anything out there. You don't have permission to do so. So I recommend getting some kind of test box configured that's running an SSH server or running some kind of uh, service that's attempting to be exploited with these scripts that you're going to create. You're going, to, you're going over various different topics, SSH login, brute forcing, password cracking, I mean, SQL injection stuff. Now we'll have to go through some of these sections of the course. Like I said, I'm not very familiar with Python scripting, so I'm going to have to take another look at some of the um, sections that I was struggling on. But that just helps me in return because the more the more you practice, the more you practice, the better you'll become in that specific area. This course itself, five and a half hours long. I think I did it over about three days. You can do this course in a weekend. I mean, it's just an introductionary course to get you exposed to Python scripting. It tells you what Python is, shows you various different examples, has you go through the exercises. Let's see here. I mean... Just, just look, we're just taking a quick look at the curriculum and such. I mean, next steps would probably be to take the Python for Hackers or Python, uh, maybe, I believe it's 201 for Hackers course, which I plan on signing up for. I'm just going to make sure I have everything squared away from this course, make sure I have, I have a proper understanding of what's being taught, looking at, going back, looking at functions or any other areas that I was struggling on so I can have a solid foundation before I move on to that next course. 
And I also do have some other Python related books that I'm going to be taking a look at as well. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you got any type of information from this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment below your thoughts and opinions. If you've taken this course before, go ahead and type down in the comment section on your thoughts and opinions what you learned and your recommendations, if you recommend this course or not. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.